Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Saeed. This is another car review. I have the 2022 Acura RDX A-Spec Advanced. This is a new trim level for the RDX this year in a new color. This is the liquid carbon metallic with a red interior. This is the super handling all-wheel drive model. They've added a, a few new features. Before, the highest trim level you can get in the RDX was an Advanced. Now, the A-Spec Advanced is a, uh, a new trim level. Um, so you get these really cool 20-inch blacked out wheels for this trim level. You get the A-Spec badging. Um, you can see the matte black finish. The Advance also comes with a 360 camera, heads-up display, kick activated lift gate, and then also you have some additional seat bolstering features. Um, the 22 RDX added wireless CarPlay Android Auto this year, and they also added a wireless charger in that port there. Um, you can probably see if I zoom in right there. So wireless charging pad that's been added as well. With the A specs, you get the Milano leather with the suede insert here. It still features a four cylinder, two liter turbo engine, about 272 horsepower, 280 foot pounds of torque. Um, a really great compact SUV for the money. Um, what's really cool about the advanced feature is you also get a remote start on the key, which is really nice. So, that's a really nice feature that you also get with the advanced. We have not only heated seats for the front passenger and driver, but we also have ventilated seats for the driver and passenger as well. You have heated rear outboard seats for the back seat passengers. As you can see, there's also a vent there to keep the cabin nice and cool. The infotainment system is displayed promptly, right? Ergonomically displayed for a great line of sight so you don't have to look down or look away from the road. Allows you to glance at it. This cool panoramic roof um, was introduced in 2019 and it stays with the 22 model year. Upgraded sound system, the ELS premium sound is also equipped. Um, going back to the remote start on the key, you also get another cool feature on the key. Uh, it has a memory seat function for driver one, driver two. So on the back of each key, you'll see um, a, a number. It'll be numbered for driver one, driver two. So once you slide your hand behind the handle for the keyless access, what'll happen is the seat will adjust for driver one or driver two, whichever way you have it set. The performance on this is really stellar. I think it's powered properly. You have the heads up display. You can see that there. It also incorporates some apps there. Your turn by turn navigation will display there as well. And you can also select your driving view and tailor it to whichever you prefer. Your speed, your adaptive cruise control with your lane keeping assist system. Your turn by turn plus adaptive cruise control lane keeping assist system. The navigation is, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's pretty generic. It's pretty generic Navi. The infotainment system is fine. It's activated or used by this touchpad here. Once you think of this as like um, quadrants, like if, if I wanted navigation, I would just hold this button here and then I would be able to access my navigation by just pushing out the corners. And same with phone. I'm just gonna go over a little bit for phone. Just push on it. I don't have to search so hard which is really nice. I mean, some people don't even like using this at all. You can use all your voice command features. And with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, most people are gonna use their maps from their phone anyhow. That's really nice. Um, you got this cool flat bottom steering wheel. It's leather trimmed as well. And it has the heated option on the A-Spec Advanced. You also have a really cool um, seat bolstering features here. So if I wanted my five bolstered seat to extend a bit, I can set that up. I really like the red leather 
on this model. It doesn't work for all the models, but on this one, I find it pretty sharp with the liquid carbon. You also have a uh, AcuraLink feature where you can activate the car from your smartphone. So you can lock, unlock, remote start, stop, check your tire pressure. Um, also check if there's any maintenances that are due. You can do that all from your phone. The first few months are gonna be free and then there is a FIDA to have that or have access to that. Kinda of wanna show you the kick activated lift gate. It's really nice. There's a sensor right at the center. So if you just do a swift kick right in the middle there, you'll be able to access that. And then of course you do have the split seats, it's a 60-40 split. They're really easy to use. Just fold down, the seat belts are on. It's a brand new car, so um, they're not gonna fold flat. But nonetheless, you also have some additional storage space here. And then there, there's an additional cubby. So these cars do not have a spare tire. They have an inflator kit. The all-wheel drives, um, other than the A-Spec, I believe do come with a spare tire but the a-spec for some reason does not have a spare tire neither do the front wheel drive uh options on this on this car none of them come with a spare from the factory so you're gonna have your parking sensors here your sensing controls here for your blind spot monitors um, your lane departure warning, your road departure mitigation. You have rain sensing wipers on this model as well. Your brake hold and your electronic parking brake. Your lift gate button is gonna be there. So you can access your lift gate a few different ways. One from the key fob itself, another from the button here, uh, another from the button on the tailgate. And then lastly, the kick activated feature, which I just displayed. The car is pretty efficient. You're gonna get about 23 miles to the gallon. You'll get one better on the front wheel drive model. Home link is equipped underneath the mirror. This vehicle is for sale. MSRP on this vehicle is 53,645. We do have this cool dual exhaust system here. Not sure if I mentioned the parking sensors, but you do have parking sensors on the front and the rear. The backup camera displays three different views. To actually working vents. And then 360 camera, which I mentioned. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below.